All right, so welcome back to the recording. In today's video, we're going to use React with Tailwind and build this uh, simple uh, project right here. You can see when I refresh the page, there's a really nice animation, and and we all this one using only uh, React for Tailwind. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any tick that you want. So if you want to code along with me, you can go into the description and clone this project from GitHub because I already set up the Tailwinds already and also there's an image that we're going to use for our project right here as well. All right, so let's get started. So first uh, I'm going to do, so I'm going to run npm start and then it's going to display the whole hello world right here. And the first thing first I need to do is to con uh, customize the font. So as you can see, if you want to change the font in Tailwind, uh, you can go into the Google font and get the embed code right here and then you can choose the import right here and then you can go ahead and copy this one and then you can go into the tailwind.css come here and paste this one on the top and save it and then you can go into the tailwind config and then you can search for font you can see font right here and then you can add your own font so I'm going to call this one is going to be quicksand uh, quicksand and then, then the font is going to be quicksand I'm going to copy from this one and paste it over here so after you uh, change the config file you need to run the npm run build.css so this one is going to allow to build the new font into our uh, Tailwind so all right so that's it so now we can use uh, quicksand in our uh, in our projects all right so then I'm going to do start the parent right here I'm going to give it the height to min height to screen uh, min height it's not height min height to screen and then the width is going to be the screen and I'm going to add the background uh, linear gradient so right here I'm going to paste it right here but you can get this one from the in the description as well so right now if I go back as you can see we have really nice background right here so next what we need to do is to add the image so image right here and then the source is going to be the process dot env dot public ul and then we type in the public uh, folder and then we're going to do the location of the image so it's going to be assets so slash foods dot svg and then alt right here is going to be you can leave it blank or you can do like you know food and now it's really big right here so first um, what i wanted to do is to target the mobile phone so um, if i do this one i'm going to f12 and this is on the phone view so we're going to do with the phone view first uh, then I'm going to do F screens to uh, with uh, not F screen. So it's the class name is going to be uh, view screen. So like full screen. So good. And then we're going to have the title, uh, another title, like description right here. So I'm going to copy this one and for the, I'm going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to cut this one below. And then I'm going to put this as the P paragraphs. And then we're gonna have one button and like span. I'm gonna put it as a span and then we're gonna do it explore. And I'm gonna wrap this one with a div. So then our parent will have only two children. So then we can do splug easily. And I can put the image at the bottom right here. All right, so good. So next we, what we need to do is to display uh, as flag. So we're gonna do flag. And then what we want to do is justify center and then item center. So it's gonna put the, everything into the center. But in the mobile screen, we want to this one to play uh, the flag as column. So, and then reverse as well. So we want the image on top. And yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. So then we can in here we can do class names, uh, margin top. Um, T is margin top to phi. Great. So for the H one right here, what I'm gonna do is to font this one to bold or black. I'm go with blacks. And then I'm gonna do text to 6XL, so it's really big. So then we're gonna do this only 4XL. So looking good. And I want to be this one to text center, so I want everything to be in the center. Next, what we need to do is to style the delicious salad right here. So I'm gonna do the this one, we're gonna do the break line. So it's right here, and then I'm gonna wrap this one with a span. So then so then we can style this one. Uh, then span right here. Uh, then we want to use our custom font is the font quicksand font quicksand so as you can see we have the quicksand and then we want to font light uh, this is one like the bowl like the bowl of this one it, it, it light it, it, it's font bowl and font light now it's look, uh, looking good and I think I wanted to increase the font size of this one 
yeah, this is looking good to me. And for the P right here, I'm gonna do the class name tech to uh, MD. Uh, I think it should be base. I'm gonna go with text base. And yeah, that's look okay for this one. Oh, you can change the increase the font size of this one. And then we wanted to for uh, text color, so we want to do gray. So I'm gonna gray 700 right here. All right, so then next I'm gonna uh, style the explore button right here. So I'm gonna give the class name of this one. It's going to be the uh, inline. So inline block. And then I'm gonna give the PG indigo indigo 500. And we hit save, and you can see the uh, background and then we want to add some pattern to this one so I'm gonna do px to 10 and then py to 5 so it uh, give the pattern uh, to our button and also we want it to be rounded uh, full and then I'm gonna give the shadow LG to this one as well as you can see it's really nice and what, what I wanted to do is to uppercase this one I'm gonna do text this one to LG and then we want to tracking uh, track a uh, letter spacing so tracking dot y and there you go now it's looking good and I want to add the uh, margin top to this one as well. So now it's separate from this one. So next, what we need to do is to um, do it to make it responsive. So when I go into the big screen, it's not looking good. So what I'm gonna do is go into the main, uh, the parent right here. I'm gonna do LG. So it's mean like from the large screen, I want to do this one to flex columns and then reverse this one as well. So flex uh, column and reverse. Okay, not flat column and reverse, it's flat row. No need to reverse anything, my bad. Good, now it's looking good. And we want to uh, shrink the size of this image right here. So I'm gonna do the, uh, from the LG. So we want to max width of this one to only XO. So now it's looking good. And also in the parent, we want from the LG right here, we want to be justify around. So then, then I'm gonna separate this two guy right here. Now that's looking good. So what we wanted to do is uh, from the our tag right here, we wanted to be going to start. So for that, we can do from the LG, then we want to tag left. And then, yeah, now it's looking really, really good. So what we wanted to do next is to increase the font size of this guy right here. So instead of doing the 5XL from the LG up, we want to do tag uh, 6XL. And now we almost finished. So the the, the next thing is what we wanted to do is to, as you can see, if I refresh, let's go into night animation from here. So the way that we do that, we're going to add the animation to the transform to the our image. So then I'm going to do transform. So, and then we wanted to do scale. So let's say right now I'm, I'm going to do scale to uh, 150. Uh, I think it should be, yeah, 150. Yep, that's looking good. And so, but we wanted to do this one when we start the page. So how do we do that? So we're going to put some variable and we could put some condition right here. So what we wanted to do is to, let's say, is animated. So let's say I'm gonna do like this one. So in order to do, add the back tick, we need to wrap this one with curly brace. And then we can do this one, is animated, which we not created yet, so is animated. So if it's animated, we're gonna scale this one. So we, what we're gonna do, we add the class, we, we're gonna do scale. Uh, but if it's not, we're gonna do, we, we do not do anything to this one. Uh, simple as that, right? So for now, let me show you. I just show nothing right here. So where do we get this animated? So for that, we're gonna do use effects. Now with use effects, we can have the, uh, we can set this one. So set is animated, uh, and he made it to be true. And now we're gonna create a state con. Uh, is animated and then set is animated right here. I'm going to copy this one. We going to do use a state to fall. So by, uh, so by default, it's going to be fall. When it's true, we're going to scale to this one. So now if I refresh, so nothing happening. So we cannot see it. So in order to see that, we're going to add the transitions. So what we can do is to add transitions, transition this one, and then we can do uh, duration. All right, so why not show this one? I'm going to type this one in here. So the duration is going to be one millisecond and also, yeah. So this one, I'm going to copy this one. And also we want to ease in and out. All right, so that's it. So the way, as you can see, when we refresh, it scale up nice. And, so next we want to rotate this one. So 
not only when it's animated in scale, when we when we animate this one, we want to this one to translate uh, to let's see, uh, translate to the current the current position. So let's say right for, for now, I'm gonna translate this one. So translate uh, this one x to let's see full. Also, let's say translate full. Mm hmm. Translate x to full. Uh, okay, I think I'm spelled translate not correctly. I think it's yep, and then translate y uh, to full as well. So you can see right now when we animate it, it's pop up. It's going to translate back to our current position. Nice. So next is we want to the animate for this one right here as well. So the way that we do that is we're gonna wrap this one, and then we're gonna wrap this one with the curly brace, and then so we can add the back tick and I'll do our logic in here. So the way that we do that is gonna do the same thing at the bottom. So let's say is animated. If it's animated, what I wanted to do is to scale the y of this one. So if it's animated, I'm gonna do scale y to 100, else I'm gonna scale this one to zero. Scale y of this one, oops, to zero. Now if we go back, we do not see it scaled yet because we haven't added transformation, a transformation, we not added transforms and also the transition right here. So I'm gonna copy this one and paste it right here. So now it should work, but it did not work. Let's see what is the reason uh, behind this one. Okay, so when this is animated, we're gonna scale Y to with this one and also this one, this one, because I think we need to do space between this one. Good. Now, that's it. So if I go into the small screen, as you can see, it's as a, because the scale, it's gonna overlay on the um, on the top of this one. And then what we can do is we're gonna do umt four. So then it's gonna separate a little bit. Huh? I see. I see. So let let's see this one. Uh, oh, okay. I I have this empty right here, so it's duplicate. Right. Good. So now everything is looking great. So I think that's pretty much it for this video and it's a little bit uh, mistakes from me as well. So I hope you don't mind me and I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you like this one and don't forget to share with your friend and, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.